reassured interview series in which we are talking about the future of security in next generation smart connectivity systems comprising heterogeneous IoT and other types of cyber physical systems. I'm Claudia Dos Santos from Martel, and I'm here today to learn more about Assured, a Horizon 2020 project dedicated to safeguarding the operational assurance of IoT systems. With me today is Li Chen, a professor at the University of Surrey's Department of Computer Science, one of the technical contributors to Assured. Welcome, Li. I'm glad you could join us today to shed more light on your work within the project. Yeah, thank you, Claudia. Nice to talk to you. So in Assured, the use of trusted computing, including a trusted platform module, is a core building block. Uh, could you explain what are the core properties offered by these technologies um, in terms of enhancing security? Yes. For TPM, as an example, um, provide uh, three core services for security. Very simple. Authentication, attestation, and secure storage. Why this is needed for the next uh, networks? Because we want to make the next generation of network trustworthy. So any trusted devices can use those core functions to verify their trustworthiness. And the network is just one of those device, uh, systems, complicated systems. So in this context, could you elaborate on how the project uh, uses such modules for enhancing the trustworthiness um, of a system? Yeah, the project aims to make uh, trustworthy services into devices, IoT devices, communication devices. Uh, we try to make those devices not individually being trusted, but uh, devices bonding together as a network to be trusted. Mm -hmm. And are there any widely known devices uh, that are protected by such technologies? And in that sense, what are the challenges in remote attestation? Yes, currently um, trusted devices, particularly TPM, and actually some other devices similar to TPM, they have been embedded in most computers. So all our PCs and the, the servers, they have TPM or TPM equivalent devices, but not those uh, uh, the small devices which is used uh, in the uh, low and low and uh, the embedded devices. So I know That's that. Why uh, yeah, they don't have a TPM or TPM equivalent devices, but they still need the remote attestation. They still need to be verified whether they are okay, whether there is any attack, because recently there are a lot of attacks in those type of devices. So our project is try to figure out what is the minimum hardware and software needed for be able to achieve remote attestation and what kind of a remote attestation protocol can be used. We cannot attack TPMs one straight away. We need to modify them to make it suitable for those small devices for their networks. Mm -hmm. And uh, you and your team are researching more lightweight uh, crypto primitives uh, for enhancing security and privacy, not only of devices, but also data sharing. Uh, could you tell us a little bit more about this research you're conducting and how these technologies come together? Yeah, crypto research is, uh, is long term, ongoing. And uh, when we say TPM used for Chester computing, TPM is uh, treated as a loot of trust. TPM actually is a crypto engine. So from my point of view, crypto inside of TPM is real a loot of trust. We can only use a safe crypto, then we can let the TPM function well and we can build a trusted computing technology. But uh, crypto is quite cost. For example, in the SUD project, we want to use the privacy preserving crypto like DA. We also want to use in small devices, they don't have TPM yet, but we want to combine small devices and the TPM 
together in the network, we need a combination between the DAA algorithms and the aggregate signature algorithm. So make then the combination efficient is our current challenge to make it as lightweight as possible. Mm -hmm. And you're probably familiar with this uh, saying that security that is not accepted by the expert community might not be so secure. So in that sense, do you liaise with uh, or contribute to any expert bodies? Yeah, actually, I would prefer to say security that is not accepted by standard bodies instead of expert community. Expert community, yes, fine. They need uh, accepted the technology. They may design technology, develop those technology. But uh, for a lot of people use it, we also need to involve standard bodies. Uh, I, have been, I have been working in industry for many years. Every time I introduce a new crypto algorithms to my industry uh, colleagues and uh, try to persuade them to use, their question is not whether crypto community love this algorithm, but whether the algorithm actually adapted by standard body, whether standard body specified it. So I then realized we must work with the standard bodies to make our design, make our crypto algorithms be accepted by standard body first, let them specify, use their proper language to explain the algorithm. Then everybody will be happy to use it. So in this project, we're closely working with ISO IEC standard body and the trusted computing group industry standard body, try to find out how our new design, new protocols can be adapted by them. Okay. And lately, uh, we have observed an emergence of a sustainable security concept, uh, so security with longevity. Um, how does assured technology help to achieve uh, such sustainable security? Yeah, there are many angles about uh, sustainable security. Uh, from my point of view, at the moment, we are facing to a smooth transition from today's cryptography to that in the quantum age. Because if a larger scalable quantum computer became reality, many crypto algorithms currently used by TPM, uh, TPM related devices will be broken. Although we don't know when, the quantum computer where it became publicly available or, or the largely available, but we know this day is coming. We need to prepare this. So that's why standability uh, security for me is to find uh, a proper crypto algorithms. It's not uh, just uh, like uh, many other crypto community have already done this. Nisten uh, recently announced their selection for the asymmetric encryption, digital signatures. They all fine, they are great. This is a big step for crypto community be able to make smooth transition. But uh, face to the trusted computing technology like TPM, some algorithms are not uh, covered reason the, for the existing work, like uh, to have uh, efficient quantum resistant DAA scheme. We have designed some DAA scheme, they are safe, we believe, but uh, they still need further work to make it more efficient. And uh, sure, is currently approaching its midterm. Looking back at all these months, uh, could you tell us about the challenges that you have faced in the first half of the project uh, and about the goals related to the design of adequate security schemes? Uh, have you achieved them or are you still uh, working on them? Yeah, the, the whole project uh, uh, have been running well from what I can see. And uh, uh, we have achieved our uh, milestones for the first half. 
but the next half will be more challenge uh, because we need to complete the designs, the complete the implementation, and uh, also we need to make a, a lot of uh, paperwork, publications, the research and uh, uh, user cases closely integrated together. For example, we are currently working on the swarm attestation. Uh, this is a quite complicated protocols. We have got our initial design, but now we need to make everything very precisely done. I think the whole project is more or less like this. We are halfway here. We have achieved what we needed to achieve, but we still face to a very serious challenge. And is there anything else about the Assured project that you would like to add before we uh, finish the interview? Uh, I would like to say two things. The first thing is I'm very glad to be involved in this project. I think we have very good management teams. We have excellent researchers. All the partners bring different knowledge, experience, uh, and the capabilities together to make the project be good. The second one is, uh, I think this project is a part of a very long research journey because it's not just a project, when it's finished, it's finished. This is just a part of trusted computing in the network uh, uh, domain, in the IoT the field. This is a, very big areas for research. And this is quite a long journey. The project is just a part of that. Thank you very much, Lee. Thank you.